Unfortunately, my friends, Lord Mortimer will not be joining us this morning, but he should be with us later. So, let us begin. What is Mortimer playing at? He tells me to come urgently and he sends no one to meet me? Certainly not. Thank you again for the wine, your eminence. It is served every day at the king's table. I am and delighted. Volner and Piaggi seem to be getting along well. My dear Johan, how are you? Glad to make landfall at last. And yourself? Very well. And your husband? He's poorly. The French Revolution gives him I terrible headaches. Oh, I understand. I shall feel better too, as soon as the situation is settled. If by chance the French crisis is emulated in Berlin, there will always be a refuge for you in London, my dear. Your offer does you honor, Emily. But London is much closer to Paris than Berlin. Beware. The French are capable of sailing up the Thames straight to the Houses of Parliament. Oh, my friend, I am shaking in my clogs. <laughs> Is the wine to your liking? Very much so, Sir Gregory. Such complexity. Typically French. A Sauterne, isn't it? Absolutely. If I'm not mistaken, this is not Lord Mortimer's favorite wine. It is yours. In his absence, I had taken the liberty of making a slight deviation from the rule. But I count on your discretion. <laughs> Don't worry. I appreciate the same great varieties as you. I remember the last time we tasted that nectar here at this table. The finest minds of the century were present. And the last time we drank it, the orphanage in Bloomsbury was still in ruins. <laughs> would... would you repeat that? Oh, well, uh, I put some small effort into the works. The orphanage reopened just before Christmas. The bedrooms, washrooms, and the classrooms had all been refurbished. I... I don't know what to say. You have given the girls a wonderful Christmas gift. Thank you. I made a promise. Now it is done. <laughs> you must be joking. <laughs> it's the first time I've ever seen her so moved. Just mention that orphanage broke right through Emily's hard shell. <laughs> Show us your teeth. Is everything all right? Yes, thank you. I had a moment of absence, but here I am again. Thank you, Timmy Oh, dear. Mm. <laughs> what do you think of Volner? The Prussian king is his puppet. I find it hard to believe the king of Prussia is so weak. Be careful. Volner is as influential as he is dangerous. You seem to know each other well. We used to work together. I see. And you, sir? Have you any information Please, on this Napoleon? <laughs> He's certainly well connected and in high places. <laughs> Surprising. No one appears to know him. No one knows me, and yet here I am. <laughs> Quite so. My friend. Monsieur Le Richet, it would seem we have common interests. Could we speak in private, please? That's right. Lord Mortimer and the Golden Order, through your mother, have concluded a financial agreement. Stay composed, Louis. I'm listening. An agreement for cannons. Lord Mortimer assured me that you are to take over the project on behalf of your mother. You must know that I am deeply sorry about our disappearance, but I must validate the deal urgently if I want to be able to organize things properly. I haven't seen Lord Mortimer yet. I'm afraid I'll be unable to answer your questions. He assured me that you could replace your mother during her absence. I appreciate his confidence, but still, this is a bit hasty. But please continue. Of course. But I need to know if I can count you among my allies. Well, of course. And for that, I have a little question for you. The agreement stipulates an aid of 50,000 Louis d'or for 200 cannon. Uh, 
I don't know. Maybe you ought to speak to my mother. Oh, what a pity. I was hoping you would be up to the challenge. Too bad. I have one last question I would like to pose to you. We don't know each other yet, you and I. And I need to make sure that we both share the same vision for the future of France. Given the hard times that have befallen our beautiful country, what do you think it would take to restore its uh, luster? I think what France is lacking today is a truly strong leader ready to govern her. Someone who will restore her luster, who will propel her forward so once again she becomes a proud nation respected by all. A man capable of both rebuilding the country from the inside and, at the same time, developing exterior relations. Someone with a vision, I think. The right person still remains to be found. You're right, my friend. I hear your words and I agree. Monsieur de Richer, I am reassured. I am very happy to have met you. Lord Mortimer was right to put his trust in you. I hope to work with you in the very near future. I would like to thank you for your support by offering you this humble little gift. Hmm. <laughs> Reflections on the revolution in France. Monsieur Bonaparte, I thank you for this gesture and please know that I too am delighted to have met you. My friends, I would like to say a few words, please. I would like to thank Lord Mortimer and you, Sir Holm, for bringing us all together here. Those of us for whom it is not the first time here, like me, are all trembling in sweet anticipation of the arrival of our host. For the rest, I would like to reassure you that Lord Mortimer always has a few surprising projects to propose. <laughs> but I can assure you that each and every one of us has always benefited from them. <laughs> The last time I came to this place, Lord Mortimer offered to help me in my electoral campaign for the presidency of the United States. And it is imminently clear that his support was an invaluable aid to us. We are here among like-minded people. So let us put aside the conflicts in which some of our nations find themselves at present. So I raise my glass in honor of you all my new and old friends. I trust you shall not be disappointed, Mr. Washington. Right, we shall meet again tomorrow. All the guests will be present, as well as Lord Mortimer, I hope. Until then, I trust you will find plenty to keep you amused. Let's recap. Before dinner, I was going to investigate my mother's message. I've got to find the place where all eyes size you up.
Well, your eminence, do you still have any room left? Ah, my son, the sin of gluttony is the most difficult of all in my eyes. Nevertheless, what a charming moment we have had together. I'm delighted I was able to talk to Mr. Von Volner. We hadn't spoken to each other for an eternity. Yes, I noticed that your eminence knew a fair number of people at the table. The benefit of age, my son. This isn't my first invitation to Lord Mortimer's. You will see, it's the perfect place to make new friends. Indeed, I noticed that you and Mr. Bonaparte had already begun. Ah, I adapt quickly to local customs. It's what I was taught. <laughs> and you are right to do so, my son. But tell me, have you had any news of your mother since your arrival? <sighs> Alas, still nothing, your minutes. But. I still haven't been able to meet Lord Mortimer. Do not worry. It is typical of him. What can I say? Lord Mortimer is a very busy man. I should think you are beginning to worry. To tell you the truth, not really. You are right. Be positive. Perhaps Sarah is in the company of Lord Mortimer and they will both turn up shortly. <laughs> but. While I have you with me, I, I have a question for you. Go ahead, Louis. What can I do for you? If I said to you, where all eyes size you up, would it mean anything to you? I don't know if it's the place you're looking for, Louis, but it makes me think of the portrait gallery. There's a gallery here? Can you tell me where to find it, please? Of course. Just go through the door at the end. It will lead into the library, continue all the way through, and you'll end up in the gallery. You'll see it, Louis. When you get there, you'll know. Thank you very much, Your Eminence. On that last word, then I shall leave you to fight your demons. See you later, Your Eminence. See you later, my son. Wine in a salon. That's an odd choice of decor. This painting has caused some debate. Who did Dosi paint? Alcina the fairy or Circe the magician? say turning Ulysses' companions back into humans. Discourse on the Method by Descartes. This book Circe preparing wine. What better trap for Ulysses? some debate. Who did Dosi paint? Alcina the fairy or Circe the magician? is surrounded by a triple circle. Circe. Dining on ham. Well, that's very appetizing. A 
Amber crystals. Golden elixir. Great, honey. where all eyes size you up. Chances are, that's the room my mother spoke of. And she also spoke of a Medusa. Should I go and try to find the creature now? Painting with no name. Devil's Thorn. I'll keep it. I've got to find out what Mother was trying to do with her. The Medusa. A hero armed with a sword? Hmm, a hero with a lantern, and the last one holding a shield. I'll stake my life on it. All the statues form a single scene together. The poor devils are about to face the beast. Let's give them a helping hand. statue is darker on the right-hand side. It must be often placed towards the fire, which would explain the difference in color. In that case, it would be facing the Medusa. Perfect for the coup de grace.